In this video, we're going to show you how to connect to an Excel file using Dundas BI. So there are two ways to connect to an Excel file using this application. The first, and most complex, but with the most flexibility, is to create your own data connector. So if you go to the top right in your Explore panel, you can right click on data connectors and say new data connector. By doing that, you'll see it'll open a panel on the left hand side, which asks for all the necessary information to connect to your file. So the first thing I'm going to fill in is the name of the file. So not the name of the file, the actual Excel file that you want to connect to, but what are you actually calling this file as a data connector in Dundas BI? So in my case, I'm just naming it Excel. Could be anything here. The next thing you need to do is choose what type of data you're connecting to. So since we're connecting to Excel, let's choose Excel from the list. And then it's just a matter of choosing what you want to connect to. Now if you had existing Excel files uploaded, you can just choose them. Or in this case, just select a file directly. So I've already got this Excel file uploaded. Let's just choose it. And you'll see you just hit test and that will tell you whether or not you've successfully connected to that file. Now there's one other useful field in here that you might end up using. And that's the field here called UNC path. So what happens, as I just said, uh, when you choose an Excel file is it's going to upload that file as a resource into Dundas BI. But that's not very useful if you have a lot of people who need to change that Excel file. Right? What if you're in a department of 10 and everybody's coming in there daily and modifying the data so that it's going to be reflected on the dashboard? Well, the best way to do this is to put that Excel file onto a network share, just a Windows standard network share. And by doing that, you can fill in a UNC path to that share. So if you don't know what this is, this is something that your system admin can certainly help you set up with. But a network path would look something like this. You know, my network, and then what's the name of the file? So as easy as that. So two options. Choose a file directly or give it a path to where that file is. Once you're done, it's just a matter of saving that data connector. And you'll see here, there's now a new data connector that's been created. Now for simple dashboards where you just want to take an existing Excel file and start using it directly on the dashboard, it's even easier than going through creating a data connector. All you have to do is go into your file system and drag and drop that Excel file onto the dashboard. You'll see by doing that it automatically created a simple view of all the data, but additionally you'll see that there's a new data connector that's been created. In this case just named the same as my Excel file. So either one of these methods, once I've got a data connector created, I can expand it, I can see the different fields available, and then I can start building something. So if I wanted to see a, char see a chart with sales by date, I drag it onto the dashboard, and I visualize it however I wish. So you see that working with Excel in Dundas BI is extremely easy.